anyone in the room who has resources, you want to know where crypto can be used for good? It's examples like this. And you want to know how we're going to find world peace? Is examples like this. Education in places that are war-torn and very difficult. And so please, for any of you who have the resources, support Roya. Now, without further ado, we've got Premier David Burt from Bermuda. He is a pioneer and a leader, and also a very cool guy, technologist. You will soon find that out if you don't know him already. Um, and he will give us a few words tonight. Thank you for being with us, Premier Burt. We're honored. No problem. Thank you, Sandra. Good evening, everybody. Now I'm going to try that again. You all in the back, stop talking. I'm only going to talk for three minutes. Good evening, everybody. That's a little bit better. You all act like you've been drinking all night. Um, I was told that I had 10 minutes. Um, I will do my best not to speak for 10 minutes. Uh, Dennis Pitcher, just uh, has anyone met Dennis Pitcher, our FinTech advisor for the government of Bermuda? Dennis, where are you? Dennis is right there. Dennis is going to get a quick introduction to how you spend all day writing a speech and then your boss can't actually give it. <laughs> so my apologies. I'm just going to speak very briefly and cover the entirety of my speech, but here's where it is. And my speech is that a year ago, I was here in Davos and at a GBBC reception, we put out a call. And the call that we put out was that if you are interested in building a jurisdiction that is friendly towards distributed ledger technologies, then you will fly to Bermuda and meet us there. And lo and behold, six people from the event, six crazy people from the event came to Bermuda. And this is a story that has been uh, chronicled in Bloomberg where they actually sat down and mapped out Bermuda's blockchain transformation, if I may call it. And so we put in place laws for digital asset issuance, we put in place laws for digital asset businesses, and we put in uh, place laws for digital asset banking. So now all of those things are done. And the question is, what next? And so that was last year. This year, what we want to announce is that technology is difficult. And so when you're basically in this arena, you will find that the best laid plans that you may have may not actually work. So last year we were set on making sure that we were one of the first countries to have a national electronic identity system. Well, for many different reasons, a year later, we are not there yet. But we've realized that when it comes to technology, and especially when it comes to nascent technology, there are a number of risks. There are technology risks, there's financial risks, there's vendor risks. And so in the spirit of a distributed economy, we figured as opposed to doing something on a centralized basis and looking at the problems with identity right now, which is broken, the question is how exactly do we fix it? Now this is where I'm actually going to the speech because I think that it's very important. Because we've realized that the process of managing and verifying identities right now is broken. And around the world, we have increasingly complex levels of regulation being applied to try to prevent money laundering and the financing of terrorism. But these regulations create barriers. And the solution of which we need is something that gets away from the current identity solutions that exist today, which are siloed. And each business is expected to perform their own KYC AML. And this is a fundamental barrier to the growth and maturity of the EID industry. So rather than requiring each individual entity to manage their own KYC in compliance, we've discovered that it makes more sense to decouple the issuance and verification identities from the application of them. And we've realized that the solution to this problem is not a technological problem, but it is a regulatory problem. And that is what Bermuda has been successful in, creating regulation that allows businesses to innovate. It is the reason why a country that is just 20 square miles that has no real natural resources has been able to exist for as long as we have. So as a result, I'm pleased to announce that we are currently investigating a Digital Identity Issuance Act. And the purpose of this act will be to certify AML KYC compliance verifiers such that they can issue and validate digital assets that represent an individual's identity. 
these digital identity assets may, oh. Dennis, next time you have to insert applause, so I pause. <laughs> but these digital identity assets may be issued on any blockchain, public or private, and serve as a legally rep recognized representation of an individual's identity. An issuer will be expected to identify how they would securely store and provide access to an individual's records in a way that protects an, individual, an individual's identity and ensures consent for any access requests. So long story short, we are going to attempt to, as, as opposed to creating a central EID, create regulations that allow the innovators that are part of the GBBC to come to Bermuda, get a regulatory certificate, and begin to start issuing your identities electronically on the blockchain, or maybe it's not blockchain, but on the blockchain, and to have those particular identities verified. And we hope that this measure, from a regulatory perspective, will jumpstart what we are looking to do in Bermuda to provide a home for blockchain-friendly businesses. Regulation is the key, and we want to be known as the place that is thinking of going forward, creating that regulation that allows you to innovate and to expand your businesses from Bermuda. So, I sincerely hope that members of the GBBC will be coming to Bermuda at some point in time. I'm not going to ask all of you to get on an airplane and join me on Monday, but if you want to come to Bermuda at any point in time, I encourage you to please speak to either myself or Mr. Dennis Pitcher, who's here, and I want to thank the Global Blockchain Business Council, Sandra, for the wonderful work in which you've done, Marcina, for the wonderful work in which you've done, and thank you for this opportunity.